This program is about rolling element bearings, why they fail, and what you and your organization can do to prevent this costly interruption to production. Precision rolling element bearings come in many shapes and sizes. They are precision parts of our rotating equipment based on sophisticated technology and science and developed in order to allow our rotating equipment to perform in an optimum manner. Their main purpose in life is to effectively reduce friction and wear of the rotating parts of our machinery. If installed correctly, if the equipment is properly maintained, and if it's operated with a full understanding of how to take care of bearings, as well as the other components of the equipment, then asset long operating life without problems is the benefit that we will accrue. This course is about bearing failure, or when a bearing function no longer complies with its expected function. In other words, the bearing fails and the equipment is no longer able to operate. Often through preventive monitoring, we can discover these impending problems before they become catastrophic failures. But often this is not the case, and bad things happen to our equipment, and ultimately the process which the equipment supports. Bearing failure, especially bad failure, can be avoided, and that's what this course is all about. Here are the 10 reasons for bearing failure. Lubrication the wrong bearing installed, contamination, misalignment, the wrong setup, overloading of the bearing, fitting practices, false brunelling, low quality bearing seating, and electric etching. While you may not understand all of the details about these reasons for failure, as well as how to prevent them, you will at the end of this course. Let me show you why. Here are the seven main sections of the course. Each section provides detailed information about that specific aspect of bearing failures, as well as the needed corrective action. Part 2 is broken down into 10 separate and informative modules discussing causes of bearing failure. Notice that each module addresses a separate cause. In each module are examples in the form of pictures of bearing failures to help you identify that specific failure cause as well as suggested corrective action. Part 6 is also divided into seven modules with detailed discussion and pictorial examples of bearing failure modes for your reference as well as corrective action for the different modes of failure. So, 22 modules with over four and one half hours of valuable content. But there's even still more. Per Arnold has offered his expertise to his students to discuss your specific problem, as well as offering one free analysis of a problem that you may be having with your bearings. There are two types of organizations. Learning organizations who take a positive and proactive attitude to failure and strive to understand why and implement processes to avoid failure in the future. The other type, the blaming organization, searches for the guilty and punishes those who have made a mistake. We need to be the former and not the latter. As far as bearings go, this course will go a long way to support your effort in this direction. This course is brought to you by Per Arnold, who will provide you with a great deal of information about the critical topic of bearing maintenance, but of even more importance, through the interaction you will have with Per, you will be able to tap into his vast experience on this subject. So sign up for the course and learn how you can optimize the life of your bearings and ultimately the equipment that they support.